Hey guys, Joe here, situated in the beautiful town of Canmore, and right behind me I have the iconic mountain Rundle. Um, as you guys may know, I've been traveling across Canada with my microcar camper, and out of all the places I've been so far, I gotta say Canmore is on the top of the list of my favorite places to be. If you're not familiar with the town of Canmore, it began as a railway division point and mining town, and is regarded as one of North America's greatest outdoor recreational and adventure destinations. In this video, I'm going to share with you a few of my personal favorite things to do. Keep watching till the end to see one of the coolest off the beaten path spots to visit. The first on the list is Yamnuska Wolf Dog Sanctuary, which is about 40 minutes outside of Canmore. I include it because some people may fly into Calgary and then drive into Canmore. So it's a fantastic first stop to see not only the cute wolf dogs, but also help support a good cause. Wolf dogs are a challenging pet, and some people do not do the necessary research before purchasing one. Unfortunately, many wolf dogs are abandoned. As a result of this, 90% of wolf dogs are terminated before the age of two. You'll probably need a good place to sleep, so depending on the type of traveler you are, you can stay in one of Canmore's many hotels. If you're backpacking, there's a great hostel in town with an amazing brewery beside it and a little cute local cafe down the street. But my personal favorite is just a few minutes outside of Canmore if you have a tent or an RV. The Three Sisters campsite is a beautiful location nestled between the mountains. But make sure you have your Kananaskis Pass before you go. If you want to stay in the heart of town and party, I recommend staying at the Drake Inn for a night or two. They always have wonderful live music, or you may head into Canmore's local and longest establishing pub across the street, Rose and Crown, which has a great outdoor patio and also has great live music. After a night out, you may want to work off some of that partying of food and drinks, so the two hiking trails I would recommend are the Sisters Pass and the Yamnuska Circuit Trail, both of which are very popular, so expect to see a lot of other hikers. However, keep in mind that these two hikes are very challenging, so make sure to have the necessary training and gear. All right, so finally what you guys have been waiting for, the coolest off the beaten path place on the list is another hiking trail. But this one's a great beginner hour hike to get you ready for the more challenging ones. The hike may be simple and easy, but at the end of it, you are rewarded with a really old bunker cave built as part of a Cold War plan to protect crucial government data in case of a disaster, including a nuclear bomb. Well, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go check out the Visitor Center, not only to receive more valuable information, but also to see if they have any coupons like I received for a free drink at the Wildlife Distillery. Anyway, see you guys next time. Cheers.